Jacoby, yes, please come forward and state your name and your address for the record, please. My name is Patricia Scobie. I live at 3012 Academy Drive in Valdosta. We have lived in our home for 47 years, and this subdivision has been there for more than 50. We have never had any problems with our sector tank, but just recently it, uh, thank you, <laughs> it uh, caved in on us. I came to the uh, city council and got my permit for a county, and uh, they told me I had to have a 33 feet long, 25 feet wide, and two feet high mound in my backyard. Granted, I live on the lower end of Academy Drive, and we have had some water around our shed when it rains, but the person that lives behind me on Parkwood, they had to uh, put a new septic center in put the mound up with a pump, and it's thrown more water on me. And sometimes half of my backyard will be full of water. My, uh, I feel like that if we put a mound in my yard, I'm still gonna get water from him. I'm also gonna affect my neighbors on each side of me. And I just feel like when I called the uh, health department, they said it's a state law. So then I called the Board of Commissioners first and left messages, but I never got a call back. Then I contacted Dexter Sharper, and he told me that he thought it was a county problem that I needed to come back and speak to y'all. Uh, I would appreciate whatever you can do to help me not have that mound in my yard. Uh, I know I tried to look up state law today, but couldn't get anywhere with that. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I just feel like there should be some rules for grandfathering in certain areas, especially when the subdivision is so old. Okay. okay. Is that all? all right. Um, if you will, if you can hang around just a few minutes when okay. the meeting's over with, I'll be glad to take whatever time we need and try to explain that process to you and try to let you know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Okay.